Yeah, so what happened here happened at about midday on Monday with the storm and uh, the crop was perfectly okay up until midday Monday and uh, it, the storm has done serious damage. The crop was just ready to harvest uh, in the next number of days and um, we're doing our best to harvest it today probably losing maybe 10% of it, 10 to 15% of the crop but if we can get it in the next day or two it wouldn't be so bad. Basically, I suppose around half 10, 11 o'clock yesterday morning, as the wind speeds picked up, uh, I came back after breakfast to inspect the farm. We had everything in lockdown at that stage, animals in, and uh, I noticed the canopy was, uh, was just lifting off the roof and uh, it blew onto the, the main building here behind, blew out um, some of the skylights and uh, was flying debris across the yard. So I thought it best at that stage to get out of there because um, too dangerous to be around, standing around the yard. Plus the wind speeds were dangerous anyway. It's hard to keep on your feet here. So uh, we came back to inspect it in the middle of the day and I thought more the roof was going to go, it was flapping up and down. But fortunately the rest of it stayed intact. Uh, there's some, I suppose, repair damage to be done down through the building with more skylights gone and some of the more of the canopy to be replaced. That is, uh, is badly damaged, I would think has to be replaced. So fortunately we got our ESP back around seven o'clock last night and uh, allowed us to function again. But most of the, a lot of the area around here haven't got their ESP back yet. So it's a struggle for guys to milk cows that haven't generators and for milk collection lorries to, let's say, pick up milk because there's obstacles in their way. So I suppose we're fortunate does, uh, there was a lady lost her life in a farm accident, or sorry, in a road accident uh, in Aglish in West Waterford yesterday and uh, our commiserations out to her family. That's uh, our sea coast behind us and the wind was coming in off the sea coast, uh, pretty exposed here and uh, with no break on the wind but fortunately maybe our damage uh, could have been worse uh, given the circumstances so we'll get through it. 